One of the biggest mysteries surrounding Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 has to be the identity of Ollie. We don't know if Ollie is a toy, monster, or even human. We only know that Ollie is a boy because Poppy referred to Ollie as a he. I'm glad that Ollie could help you get this far. He's the reason we found you at all. Well, today I might have the answer to that question, and some of you might have already guessed this just by playing the game, and some of you, some of you might be shocked. So my theory is that Ollie ident Ollie's identity is actually the prototype. And it's not just me thinking of this. So many other people said that in my replies to my videos. So many people on Twitter said, oh, what if Ollie's the actual the prototype? Whoa. So it's definitely not my idea or theory that he is the prototype. But what my theory is, is all the evidence I'll be bringing to actually connect the thoughts that Ollie might actually be the prototype or that the prototype is actually mimicking the real Ollie. I definitely do think that Ollie is a real person. Is Ollie a toy, a monster, or even human? I have no idea. I would like to say the bet that Ollie is, of course, a toy of some sorts, because it looks like Poppy already knows who Ollie is, of course, saying, oh, thanks, Ollie's helping you out. So Poppy knows Ollie. Most likely, Poppy already seen Ollie, but sadly, we do not see Ollie. We only hear on a phone. And you're probably like, oh, how's a prototype sound like a kid? Well, of course, spoilers alert if you have not played Chapter 3, but there is one secret tape at the end of the whole boss fight where you actually put in the prototype's tape and you can see the prototype talking to you know one of the testers you can actually hear the prototype uh talking and changing his voice he even mimicked the whole tester or whatever you call him the scientist's voice ready to talk now are you i possess a question do you feel anything Prepare at flesh Regardless, I learn something new about you every day. Absolutely. I learn something new about you every day. So you can see he can mimic voice and he can replicate many different voices. But in the tape that I'm going to show right now is you guys can actually see his voice is a little bit off. Like it doesn't sound human like Ollie's does. It sounds robotic and you could definitely tell that that's fake. So now, this is of course a part that's really important. One, this could be there just to show that Ollie is not the prototype, and it could just be there just to be like, okay, okay, so it's definitely not Ollie because it would have sounded off. Maybe the developers put that in there so it could take us away from that theory, or it could show many different things. It's supposed to take us away from Ollie being a prototype when he, maybe he is. Because what if that was an old tape? It definitely is an old tape, but what if the prototype has got better? What if he got better at mimicking like AI? The more you feed it knowledge, the more you feed it information, the more better it gets at replicating someone's voice. So what if he got so good he was able to, of course, fix it? That would definitely make sense now. So I definitely do like to think that Ollie is a real person, that the prototype's only mimicking his voice. Maybe sometimes Ollie is real, like when we got out of Playhouse and Ollie said, no ouchies or boo-boos, because that sounded like something a kid would say. Or maybe it is also the prototype, but maybe sometimes the prototype is talking and sometimes Ollie is talking, he's just switching in between them. Right now, there's no way to tell. Like in Fire and Freddy's Ruined, we can actually see Rocky. the mimicking glitching out, Does making some sort of mimicking noise, kind of giving it away. Signal. But in this game, it's not doing a reveal at the end, so we're gonna have to wait. So they probably didn't want to make some glitching sound effects, because that would just give it away. Anyone playing the game would easily get that. But now we get to another question, a serious question. Why is the prototype helping? Because we all know that Ollie throughout the game is kind of like Gregory in Security Breach or in Ruined, the DLC. Ollie's here to help us and tell us how to do things, kind of like what I'm trying to think of a different character. Kind of just helping us throughout the game, just helping us know what to do, to get what to do, don't get lost. But of course, why would the prototype help? I have a feeling that the prototype wanted Catnap dead. And that's why the prototype had a mission just to help us get to that. But if the prototype wanted that, like, why couldn't the prototype just kill Catnap already? Because the prototype probably needed Catnap weakened. Because in the boss fight, as you guys could tell, we weaken Catnap by shocking Catnap, and then Catnap gets the gas, which must be flammable because that dude come busted into flames, and of course burnt off all his fur, uh, fur and became extremely weak. So at that point in time, the prototype comes to save him. We do not know if A, the prototype is just, you know, he's ready to be taken. Catnap just wants to die, and that's why he was like, okay, take me, man, this is my time. Or, 
if the cat, <laughs> if the cat, or if Catnap was praying to the prototype, asking, please save me, and then the prototype was like, nah, I'm gonna kill you the way. Hey, guess what? You're at the halfway mark. Do you know what that means? That means you have to subscribe. <laughs> just kidding, but I'm legally required to ask you to. It's your choice if you want to, but if you just watch the video, like, comment, anything like that, would just help me out enough, so you don't even have to subscribe. But it only takes a few seconds, and it'll really just make my day, week, month, even a year. And also thanks to the dev notes for making the art for the thumbnail. This video wouldn't be as appealing to click on if it wasn't for that thumbnail art. So please go follow him on Twitter, subscribe to his YouTube channel, and just let him know that he did an amazing job in the thumbnail. And without further ado, let's go back to the theory. We sadly do not know, and it could be taken two different ways of what Catnap wanted to die, if he wanted to go willingly, or if Catnap was trying to pray for his life to be spared. We sadly have no idea now, but either way, the prototype is the one to finish the final blow, just stab him right in the head and take him to make him part of him. So what if the prototype actually wanted Catnap a part of him, because, but Catnap became too strong and the prototype needed him to be, of course, weakened, and that's why he tried to help us through the voice of Ollie through the phone. That would definitely make some good theories, and that's why I definitely do like to think of the prototype actually mimicking Ollie and not Ollie being a fake person, because of course Poppy already knows Ollie, so Ollie cannot be someone fake. And now to even add to this theory even more is when we got out of Playhouse again, Ollie starts to bring up, oh, did you see the shrine? That was pretty scary, and it starts to give us the whole lull drop that the ARG kind of gave us about the whole backstory of Catnap and how he used to be Theo and how, you know, he used to go, uh, he was a being experimented on, he was about to die, but then the prototype saved him, but also giving up his freedom in the process. That whole the whole little discussion here kind of gave us a lot, like, okay, Ollie, how do you know so much about the prototype? How do you know, like, that the, I guess it must be something that's floating around, everybody just knows about it at that point. Or maybe, of course, Ollie is the prototype, just letting us know, hey, you know, I gave up my own freedom for this dude. And of course, he gave up his own freedom in the return. And of course, Ollie was like, did you see the shrine? He made that for the prototype. The way she says it is just so joyful. Like, he, I said, I said she, my bad. <laughs> the way he says it is just so joyful. Like, he's just happy that the shrine's there. And also says, wait until, this, and wait until you see the real thing. This line shows that, one, Ollie has already seen the real prototype. Because, like, wait until you see the real thing. And why does Ollie sound so joyful just talking about the shrine and the entire backstory? And how did Ollie even get all this information to begin with? This is definitely, of course, leading a lot to say that, okay, at the end of the day, you could definitely see the connections of why I think Ollie is, of course, the prototype. And also, there's been some theories floating around thanks to Rye Toast on YouTube that, of course, Ollie might actually be baby long legs. And I gotta say, that is not a bad theory. Why do I also want to concur and connect with that theory? Because in Home Sweet Home, you can see a cutout of three characters being Daddy Long Legs, Mommy Long Legs, and Baby Long Legs. And the only one that does not have a voice chatter to talk, of course, the other two so static, but the only one that does not have one is Baby Long Legs. Maybe because they didn't want the voice to sound too similar to Ollie. But I don't know. Ollie sounds like a kind of like, you know, a boyish and I mean, kind of like youngish. And Baby Long Legs could be youngish, that also could just connect to the whole entire theory that they're both one. But I still like to connect to my theory that no matter what, I still think Ollie is a real person. I do think that Ollie is somewhere in the fact that we're probably going to meet Ollie in chapter four, maybe even chapter five at the end. But I definitely do think that the prototype is mimicking Ollie's voice to try to get us to help, to try to give us to defeat Catnap. But hey, you guys can let me know in the comments below what do you think about this theory. Let me know if you think that this theory is definitely correct. Do you think that this is something that the prototype actually did? Do you think that the prototype is, of course, the mimic? <laughs> the mimic, I mean, do you think he's actually Ollie? Because anything that Fire of Freddy's taught me is that, of course, do not trust mimicking voices. And it's the reason why Mob Entertainment put that tape in the game. They had it in the game for a reason, to let us know that the prototype could change voices why probably just connect this dot in theories but it's de been definitely an interesting time don't forget to subscribe watch all my other different videos i definitely have more theories i want to make this is just the biggest one that i wanted to get out also thanks again for the art by thumbnail the dev knows an amazing art on the thumbnail and you probably wouldn't have clicked on the video because of that thumbnail if that thumbnail wasn't there you probably want to be interested so huge shout out to the dev knows and see you guys on the next video and stay tuned for more don't forget to watch my playthrough because it is definitely shocking